solution Hello there and welcome to episode 18 of Blythe Spartans and Rags to Riches. Now it hasn't been too long since we've last been with you and the live com against Leamington. We've only played two matches since but I did want to bring you an update and bring you another crunch match against Stalybridge Celtic in the live com today. Also we've just had our U3 gen intake so there's fresh blood into the club and two players have also been released. Now let's talk about the two games briefly that we've played since the last episode. And as you can see it's only been two games and two games to forget and away 5-0 thumping against Gainsborough, a nightmare match and away defeat against AFC filed not in either of those games conceding 11 goals in our last three matches with only four goals in reply. The positive from this is Ben Blackman has got three in the last three games but we come into this crunch match against Staley Bridge and I'll show you the league table before we get into that and talk a little bit about the players who have come into the club. So those two back-to-back -back defeats have seen us drop out of the playoff zone for the first time in a very, very long time. We are level on points with 5th and 4th Staley Bridge and Nuneaton which makes the Staley Bridge game at home very important. We are 1 point clear of Fylde and Brackley in Three points clear of Hednesford and Gainsborough. We're five points from the top. Ilkeston amazingly leading the way after getting promotion in the league I was in last season. Surely we can get into the playoffs. It would be an absolute disaster if we didn't. Although our media prediction is 14th. We've been in the playoff zone almost all season. Certainly not been out of it until now for the last couple of months. So hopefully we can get in there and nick it. We have eight games to go. Eight huge Cup final games and starting today against Staley Bridge is the way to start. Hopefully we can change our live com luck and get a win today. But let's check out the regens that have come through, the new blood, the fresh blood through our youth intake that was last week in terms of game time. So this is the first of three new arrivals, 15 year old English player valued at £525 earning £5 per week. Current start is 4 star youth ability and 2.5 star potential ability, 6 pros, 5 cons and a potential to be a decent player. Fairly ambitious, likes to play a short passing game and looks to pass rather than score as you probably would as a central defender. His name is Graham Porter, he's got decent attributes in the area of determination, flair, positioning, acceleration, natural fitness and jumping reach. Next up we welcome Mel Williams, a 15 year old Englishman again, 4 pros, 8 cons, 4.5 star youth ability, 3.5 star potential ability, a potential to be a key player, young midfielder, plays on the left hand side and is only left footed. His best attributes are his physical, acceleration is 15, natural fitness 15, pace 12 and stamina 11. Those are his best attributes and Mel Williams comes into the club on a youth contract. We weren't exactly blessed with an intake this time, but this is the best. We've saved them to the last. Jordan Bradford, 16-year-old Englishman. One-star current ability, three-and-a-half star potential ability. Potential to be a key player of the team and again left-footed and plays attacking midfield left. His best attributes come in his physical side of the game. Acceleration 11, agility 11, balance 13, natural fitness 14, pace and stamina 11. While leadership and teamwork are 11 and 12. He plays as a winger. And hopefully he can become pretty decent and be the left-hand side version of Ben Blackman who came through our system last year who is developing lovely. So recently I mentioned that I was a wanted man in terms of job interviews. Now prior to the game just about to play against Stalybridge Celtic we have been offered another interview from another Scottish club. I believe this is the fourth after East Stirlingshire, East Fife, Stirling Albion and also Peterhead actually. Stran Rarev now came in and I'm going to decline that interview. I don't want to go there, I don't want to manage in Scotland, I don't want to take a job I believe is lesser and of course the aim of this challenge and this task is to take Bly Sparrens right to the very top. A bit of transfer news has popped up. Joe Castrain, the guy with decent attributes, the Republic of Ireland player, former youth international I believe. If not I may be corrected on that. He is left to join Salford. He didn't really manage to break into our first team and he was taking up quite a bit of wage because he was not signed on a non-contract term. He was signed on a part-term deal. 
glad to get him out of the club, glad to get his wages off the bill and hopefully reduce our finances by a little bit because they are absolutely shocking. So here we are, the match against Stalybridge Celtic is moments away and the bookies make us favourites for this match. We line up 4-2-2-2, Watson, Parker, Pearson, Roberts, Nurse, Nicholson, Story, Turnbull, Dale, Blackman, Wolfenden and Maguire on the bench, Hutchison, Turner, Richardson, Hackney and Swan. We're lining up against the Stalybridge Celtic team who are a flat 4-4-2 and one place above us but joint on points with us. So this is a big, big match. So the boys have been briefed and told to end the run that we have seen us go three matches without a win and of course concede a heavy amount of goals, 11 in the last three games. Hopefully today we can put an end to that in a tough, tough match. And of course, in recent live comms, in fact all live comms since the initial series started in Season 1, I think we've only won one live comm and that was the playoff final. Hopefully our luck can change and we can get three big points today. Story. Maguire. Wolfenden's in and puts it over. A good chance from Wolfie. The first chance of the match falling to Blythe Spartans. Decent possession so far. Restricted style bridge to no shots. Newbie. Phillips. Charman. Scored quite a few goals as Luke Charman, former Newcastle United player, youth player of the club. Good chance from there from Staley Bridge, straight at Pearson, Turnbull, Aird, Shaw, Charman, Rocca, Shaw, Newby, and cleared away after a good save from Pearson. Did consider dropping him actually, we considered a lot of goals recently and he is very young. I took a risk by making him number one this season. Wolfenden. Turnbull. Poor pass on Turnbull, that's not like him. 25 minutes in. Shaw. Beats the defence. Plays it into Newby. First time into Charman, and Charman does exactly what he does, his 16th goal of the season. Puts Stalybridge 1 0 ahead, and again, we're conceding first in a match. I know the media prediction was 14th, and I know we're overachieving as it stands, but really, it's been so frustrating. We've been going two wins, three, four losses, two wins, three, four losses, and it's very, very frustrating. Our early season form put us in this position that we're in. And really, if we miss it on the playoffs, it's going to be an absolute nightmare considering how long we've spent in that zone. Newbie with the corner. The live comms we play have just been abysmal. We've either been really boring matches or we have lost and they've not been very exciting other than that one in the playoff final that I mentioned where we won 6-2 in extra time. Blackman. Also risky playing Blackman, a young player, become a key player for me at 17 years old. Blackman, Nicholson, Blackman again, Turnbull, Storey, Maguire and Maguire puts it over. Two shots on target out of our five so far. Storey, Turnbull, Maguire, Storey, plays it forward to Blackman, he can get a shot and he can't get in there. Young Ben Blackman gets his 8th goal of the season. Very highly talented youngster. Well done. That's what he seems to be doing recently. Is cutting in from that right hand side. And pinging it across goal. Just like he done here. Poor goalkeeping. I'd say he should have got that. But we will take it. Our luck has been out recently. And we could do with some luck. So we will take that 1-1. 40 minutes gone here. In a quite even match. Shaw's clean through. Sharman, good save by Pearson. And Dale has got it on the left hand side. Maguire and it goes out of play. Staley Bridge definitely had the better of the chances so far. Only Blackman and Story with above 7 average so far for us. I'm going to tell the boys assertively that we can still win this. I want to play a little bit higher tempo 
I'm going to play a little bit more direct as well and pass it into space. Hopefully these changes can make a difference because this is a big match. Because if the teams below us get anything really, if four teams below us can get a win, that would see us drop right down. And the poor form of recently, we can't say we haven't deserved to be knocked out of the playoff zone so far. So hopefully we can pick up a win and end this small barren run. And we can't seem to keep clean sheets either. Newbie. Charming, got a lot of space. Ronka. Newbie. Good tackle by Watson, who picks it up on the left-hand side. Plays it forward to Turnbull. He's not been as effective as he was last season. Maguire. Great pass to Ben Blackman. Cross it in. Wolfie! Yes, 15th goal of the season for Wolfie. Get in there. Great cross from Ben Blackman. First time ball. And Wolfie puts it away. Maguire plays a long diagonal ball. One touch for Wo Blackman. Puts in and a great volley. That is quality from Wolfie. That's the ability he has. A step above most players in this league. Turnbull. Story. Poor pass. Played well this game so far, Story. Claxton, newbie. Parker collect it. Watson, Turnbull, Dale. Comes inside, tries to play a pass, but loses it, collects it again, forward to Maguire, and another pass goes stray from Robert Dale, the experienced player. You wouldn't expect to do that. Turnbull, played forward to Wolfie, can he get a chance? That was a great chance to go 3-1 up, and Wolfie, not like him, puts it wide. Ben Drennan, Wolfie, great pass to Robert Dale, plenty of time to pick his pass. He does, Maguire can't turn and get the shot off. But it goes out for a goal. Corner kick, sorry. Blackman. And Dixon collects the goal ball with 58 minutes gone. Nine shots each. Four on target for us, six on target for Stalley Bridge. And we have slightly better possession, 56% to 44. Nicholson. I think I will make a change after this and bring on Swan for Maguire. Story. Turnbull. Loses it. Shaw. Back to Dixon. Plays a long ball out to Ronka. Into Farrell. Over to Shaw. And it gets blocked and Nicholson picks it up. We're going to make that change as suggested. Swan on for Maguire. Maguire's not had the best of games. He's not really been involved too much. Robert Dale will come off for Simon Hackney also. The rest of the midfield are having a decent-ish game so far but this game is on a knife edge very tight very tense and I still think there's a goal in it which way I cannot call I'm going to tell the boys to concentrate we really need to defend this for the last nine minutes this would be a huge match Luke Charman might be a player I could look at actually in the next season I think I'm currently scouting them to see what they want because he's not on a non-contract at Stalley Bridge, so we would have to pay. We've got uh, plenty of money to play with in terms of lower league. Drennan, Charman, and Charman puts it in. Where was the goalkeeper? Ah, oh, so much frustration. Where is my defence? Sweaty. Charman couldn't miss. I knew there was a goal in this game. I told the boys to concentrate. Watson. Wolfenden. Wolfenden again. Turnbull. Wolfenden. Nicholson. Turnbull. Story. Wolfie. Swan. I think he hit the bar there. And I think that's going to be the last chance of the match. Ah, oh, four matches, no win. This is always going to be a tough game, but very disappointing. I told them to concentrate. And you... Nah, I'm not telling them it was a good performance. For me, it wasn't good enough. I don't think we played that well. And that sees us drop down to 7th in the league. Four teams are on 55 points. One team is on 54 points. 
Gains were on 52, two teams on 51. And we are now seven points off top place Ilkeston, so it looks like we're going to have to really now play for that playoff spot. Hopefully we can get it, but we need to get a win very, very quick. Okay, so that sees us no win in four games and zero clean sheets in those four games, of course. So, Lowe's Toft next at home before an away match against Alfreton and then away to Telford, a home to Harrogate, and we're going to come back for the next live comm in a game against a team that we haven't played a live comm against, Worcester away, and hopefully the league will be a little bit more clearer then, because then we will have Solihull Moors in a tough game and Matlock in a tough game, and then who knows if we're in the playoffs, we will obviously come back after that, the next episode. So I'll come back to you next for the Worcester match, then we'll round up the season and then we'll see where we are. If we're in a playoff, of course we will bring you the live com for that. Thanks for checking out Rags to Riches and I'll see you guys very shortly.